Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. During The Empire Strikes Back, as Darth Vader attempted to turn Luke Skywalker towards the dark side, the Sith Lord told his son that Emperor Palpatine had foreseen his demise at the hands of Luke. Until recently, Star Wars fans weren't privy to the exact details surrounding what Sidious had foreseen, that is, until the release of From a Certain Point of View, The Empire Strikes Back. The book features 40 short stories set during Episode 5, which I'd recommend checking out if you haven't. One short story titled Disturbance provides Star Wars Wars fans with an inside look at Darth Sidious witnessing his demise at the hands of Luke Skywalker, and it's probably my favorite story in the book. So let's take a look at what exactly Sidious foresaw and how this affected the events that followed in The Empire Strikes Back and beyond. The story opens up right around the time Luke meets Yoda on Dagobah. We come upon Darth Sidious, who's in the Sith Shrine that rests below the former Jedi Temple on Coruscant, as the Sith Lord feels a powerful disturbance in the Force. As this surge in the Force rose like a mighty wave, Sidious fought back against it and, in doing so, saw what the Dark Lord initially believed was a vision of the future in the Force. This Force vision brought him to his office in the Imperial Palace on Coruscant, where the bodies of two royal guards lay dead, their severed heads strewn across the floor. Standing next to the bodies was a stoic, intimidating, and cold figure with power emanating from them. The figure had a red lightsaber drawn and ignited, but Sidious initially couldn't see the individual's face. As as they were draped in a black cloak. He could tell, however, that the cloaked individual was a boy. As we'll come to find out, this hooded boy is none other than Luke Skywalker, but Sidious is not aware of that just yet. Sidious then realized that the cloaked Luke Skywalker was not alone, however, and saw another hooded figure who the Sith Lord quickly recognized as himself. As Sidious continued to see the Force vision play out, Luke moved closer to the vision version of Sidious and began to Force choke the Sith Lord. In retaliation, Sidious unleashed Force Light lightning against Luke, but the power of Luke's force choke stymied Sidious's force lightning. Hoping to beat back Luke, Sidious used the force to pull a lightsaber towards him, but the saber never arrived in the Dark Lord's hands as the cloaked boy used the force to stop the saber midair. Sidious saw himself in this vision, trying to do everything in his power to stop Skywalker from choking the life from him and failing miserably, even as the walls of the Sith Lord's office trembled and shook from Darth Sidious's outpour of dark side energy. Unexpectedly, a new voice whispered, seemingly from nowhere, do it, and Luke used the force to thrust the floating lightsaber forward, stabbing the Emperor and killing the Sith Lord. As Sidious observed the death of himself in this vision, curiosity and intrigue picked his interest since he understood that dark side usurpers were the way of the Sith and wondered who this young would-be conqueror was. While the vision continued, the Sith Lord dwelled on this but was soon interrupted as the force vision of Luke moved towards Sidious who was still in the Sith Shrine, as if Skywalker could see the Dark Lord of the Sith. Sidious then heard a new voice saying, you have done well, right at the same location where he was experiencing this Force vision. Sidious considered the tone of the voice and realized that he was hearing none other than that of Anakin Skywalker. The Sith Lord then realized that he wasn't tapping into a vision, but rather, a dream that Darth Vader was having, which is just so wild and awesome that something like that can happen through the Force. Darth Sidious was unsurprised to learn that Vader, wished to overthrow his Sith master, as that's just the Sith being the Sith. What did surprise him, however, was that Vader's dream was powerful enough to cause such a strong disturbance in the Force, as well as the identity of this boy who Vader had hidden from him. As Vader's dream vision of sorts continued, Sidious realized that everything he saw was through Vader's eyes, who still looked like Anakin Skywalker. Padme Amidala then appeared, and Luke referred to her as his mother and Anakin as his father. Sidious watched Vader's dream continue to unfold, and understood that Vader's hope was to turn his son towards the dark side so that father and son could overthrow the Emperor. Furthermore, when Vader's dream dissipated and came to an end, Sidious also understood Vader's intense obsession in following up on every lead obtained on the Rebel Alliance. Sidious presumed that, at some point, Vader learned his son was alive, withheld that information, and then scoured the galaxy obsessively for the boy. As was the case with Vader in the past, Sidious dwelled on the fact that his apprentice's lack of 
of control over his feelings would yet again become his undoing. The Dark Lord of the Sith also considered the potential of Luke Skywalker, his power in the Force, his bloodline, and how he would provide Darth Vader with every resource available to him through the Imperial military to aid in his search for his son. This would allow Sidious to plan, while his apprentice searched the galaxy for his son, who would hopefully become Sidious's new apprentice. The only questions in Sidious's mind were how much did Vader know, and how far had he gone to hide his betrayal from his Sith Master. To find out, Sidious summoned Vader, taking us to the moment in Empire Strikes Back, where Sidious explained to his apprentice that there is a great disturbance in the Force, ending the short story. I thoroughly enjoyed reading this short story, and this was, as mentioned earlier, probably my favorite story from the book. It's really good. Obviously, it enhances the story of Empire Strikes Back, but it also enhances what we know about Sidious and Vader. Sidious is a piece of crap who has done nothing but manipulate and use Vader, and this story just further showcases that. But yeah, fun story, and if you haven't checked out From a Certain Point of View, I'd recommend checking it out. But what do you guys think? And what's your thoughts on the short story, Disturbance? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.